the bird, 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 the bird machine. Check. What's up guys, Visual here, but you can call me James, and in this video I'm going to show you guys how you can actually make a revamp template just like this one, so it's really nice to show off your work, obviously your headers, banners, logos, it really depends on what you've obviously created, but you can um, obviously change this tutorial if you're making a YouTube banner, you can add that in, but I'm going to show you how to do this with a header and a logo, so yeah, it's really really simple, all you have to do is obviously start off in Photoshop, you want to go to File, New, and this will open up the document page and all you want to do is make the width 1280 and the height 720 and have the resolution as 200 it really depends on obviously your computer if you want to bump up the resolution or lower it it really depends but i'm going to keep mine at 200 once you've done that just hit ok and this should make a blank white document and the first thing you want to do is double click on the lock on the layers page where it says background double click on that and that should make it a layer so it's um you can obviously edit this before when it was just a background you couldn't do anything to it but uh, we need to edit it so we can change the color so just double click on the layer this will open up the blending options and go to color overlay and then select black if you haven't already just hit ok and ok again and you should have a black background so that's really really simple and all you have to do now is drag in your header so i'm going to use this old header i made for mystic and it should cover up the whole screen size so all you want to do is while holding shift you want to lower it down a bit to make sure it's a bit smaller if you don't know how to get up the sort of grid to change the size all you have to do is press ctrl t and that should come up so yeah i think that's a good size and i'm going to press ctrl h uh, and ctrl r i'm going to press ctrl h so these pink lines show up where the middle of the design is so there we go that's the middle um all i'm going to do now is duplicate this layer so i'm going to duplicate the header and it should say header copy or whatever you named it as then right click it and go to rasterize layer and make sure you do that on both of them so once you've rasterized both of the layers drag the header copy down and all you want to do now is press ctrl t you might want to zoom out for this to zoom out all it is is ctrl and then minus so once you've zoomed out just make the background layer a bit bigger so yeah there we go i think that's good and now what i want to do is go to filter blur and then guardian blur and i keep my radius pixels at 8.4 but you guys can do whatever you want it really depends on your design so i'm going to go back to 8.4 and hit ok and now this is where the black background comes in what i'm going to do now is lower the opacity on this so i'm just going to lower it to around about um i reckon 28% I think that looks good so once you've done that you have uh, completed the header sort of part of it and now what you want to do is drag in your logo if you do have one you might just have a header it really depends or you might just have a YouTube banner but this is just how to obviously showcase it so I'm just gonna make this a bit smaller uh, there we go I think that looks good zoom back in and all I want to do now is add a layer style to the logo and header so to do this just double click on the layer and this will open up the blending options once again and all I'm going to do is add a drop shadow so this is the preset drop shadow just keep it as it is normally and do the same with the logo so just add a drop shadow and this should obviously make them stand out a little bit more once you've done that just go to the text tool and you can start creating the text so this is where you can change it to whatever you guys want but this is just what i do and this is my personal preference so i'm just going to click on the text tool and the font i'm using is nexa bold so i'll leave a link to that in the description below so i'm just going to put mystic um header and logo but you guys can put obviously whatever you want and I'm just going to keep this at this size just to make it a bit quicker and I'm going to center that there and I'm going to also make another one it's going to say designed by visual sorry if you can hear my keyboard tapping as well um, designed by visual make that a bit smaller and then center that as well and the last step that I do to this is obviously make a um, little description in the bottom corner where it says uh, like what you see feel free to contact me via Twitter and then I put my Twitter for any design related inquiries um, I will leave a link to this template if we can get um, I say around about 20 likes on this video I will give you guys a template to this so you obviously won't have to go 
through the whole tutorial and try and do it you'll just have the template so if we can get 20 likes on this video i'll give you guys that template so yeah i'm gonna go back to the design and i'm just gonna type um, what i did there um, i don't know what i put like what oops like what you see here feel free to contact me on my twitter in brackets at uh, visual j daniels i'm gonna make this a bit bigger so it's obviously readable and there we go just make sure it's centered with the pink line so there we go I'm just gonna keep that like that. I'm not gonna put too much more because I wanna keep it really simple and I wanna keep this tutorial quite quick. So yeah, I put like what you see here, feel free to contact me on my Twitter in brackets, um, Visual J Daniels. So yeah, that's really about it. You can add a layer style to these if you wish. Um, I'm just gonna add a clean white layer style. So if I can find one that I like, I'm just gonna add that. Uh, I'm gonna press new style so it appears on uh, last on the styles page so I can just find it quickly um, styles and yeah there we go if you do want this layer style I think it is in my layer styles pack and I'll leave a link to that in the description below it's completely free to download so yeah I hope you guys do enjoy this video um, sorry if the mic quality was quite bad but I really wanted I really wanted to give you a tutorial because I haven't really done many tutorials on my channel so I do apologize for like the mistakes I made as well um, hopefully they will improve in the future so anyways guys yeah hope you have enjoyed the video this has been visual or James and I'm out peace <laughs>